Hey guys, we have Terrace Marshall joining us now. Um, same thing, drop it in the chat, identify yourself before you ask a question and we'll get rolling right away. Terrace. Hi, Terrace. Hi, uh, Ed, Ed Kratz here with uh, Kevin Philadelphia Eagles for Sports Illustrated. Um, I, I just, uh, first of all, have you talked to the Philadelphia Eagles? And second, you, you played with some great receivers, Jamar and, and Justin. Um, do you feel like you've been in the shadows a little bit? And are you looking forward to starting your NFL career and kind of setting out on your own path? Uh, yes, sir. I have. I have, uh, I have been talking to the uh, Eagles, and uh, I mean, I mean, everything played out. You know how it's supposed to be. I look at it as you know. I mean, everything happened for a reason. So, I mean, whatever position I was in, that's the position God wanted me to be in. So, I mean, now it's time to go to the next level and then take advantage of every opportunity that I get. Hey, Terrence, uh, congratulations on getting to this point, man. Uh, Derek Sloan here from Sloan Sports in Chicago. Um, you know, as you prepare for this next chapter in your journey, what would you say has been the biggest life lesson the game of football has taught you up to this point? I mean, everything is a business. Uh, I mean, as soon as you get out of college, you instantly got to start handling business, uh, whether it's, you know, getting your money right with taxes, uh, getting, getting everything, you know, just in the real world, getting right. So, I mean, it's just teaching me, you know, you just got to grow fast uh, and uh, just stay on your P's and Q's. You know, it's just the real world and uh, you just got to, you know, get yourself ready for it. Terrence, how you doing? Good, how you doing? I'm doing well. Um, well. Big story with LSU this year was that your teammate Jamar Chase opted out. What went in your decision to play this season uh, when you when, when Jamar stepped out and uh, Justin Jefferson went to the NFL? Uh, I mean, I just feel like I have more to prove. I feel like I, uh, you know, I feel like I haven't, you know, did everything that I, that I needed to do to prove myself. Uh, so I didn't. I just want to go out there, you know, and play and compete. I love the game of football, so I mean, I went out there and uh, just competed, and uh, just feel like I had to prove myself some more. Hey, Terrence, how you doing today? Uh, all is well. How you doing? Good, good. Um, your versatility is one of your biggest strengths in your ICD. Um, how do you think that versatility will translate to the NFL? Uh, I mean, I mean, NFL at the end of the day is still a game of football. The thing I've been doing, you know, my whole life, uh, second nature to me. Uh, so I feel like, you know, I mean, everything that I did in college, I'll be able to carry it on to the NFL. Uh, just uh, with using my mental more, uh, just being more smart on the field. And uh, I mean, I just feel like it all translate there. You know, with my hard work, I feel like it all pay off. Hey, Terrence, how are you doing today? I'm great. How are you doing? I'm doing well, Josh Allen with the Buffs Report. I just wanted to ask you, who have you kind of leaned on throughout this entire process? Have you reached out to JJ or any other former teammates of yours to kind of get the feel for what a, what the pro day and the pre-draft workouts would be like? And have you had any communication to the Buccaneers in the process? Uh, to answer that question, uh, yeah, I have I have talked to the Buccaneers once. And uh, I mean, i just pretty much been uh, just kind of experiencing everything myself. Uh, I mean, of course, me, JJ, all of us, we talk all the time, but I mean, everybody got their own experience. So, I mean, I just kind of been getting the feel of the things, you know, myself and uh, just going through every day, taking one day at a time. And uh, I mean, just keeping my eyes open for, you know, anything new to come. Hi, Terrace, Megan Price with Sideline Sports. Congrats on the numbers you put up today. They were awesome. Is there any particular type of offense you would like to work with or a specific QB? Uh, I mean, I just want to go to offense that throw the ball uh, and a QB, you know, that can get me there. Uh, it'll be the next level. So, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure no team would have a quarterback out there that couldn't throw. So, I mean, I'm just looking forward, you know, to, to going on the team, no matter which team it is, and I'll just, you know, contribute to that offense. Hey, Terrence, how you doing? Good, good. Um, 
Hey, Terrace, Alex Kazora, Steelers Depot. Can you just take me through your mindset when you line up pre-snap? Where are your eyes at? What are the things you're looking for, both pre-snap and then right after the snap of the football? Oh, man. If, I, if I'm on the outside, uh, I'm immediately looking at the cornerback in front of me, uh, looking at his leverage, seeing how he's playing me. Uh, and when you're in the slot, I mean, you got to basically look at the safety. Uh, the safety to tell you what type of defense they're playing. Uh, I mean, the only thing on my mind when I get on that line is uh, to eat. You know, that ball come my way. You know, get ready. Uh, get ready to make a play. Already asked the question for him. Mr. Marshall, Alex Fleming, Florida Sun, how are you today? I'm great. How you doing? I'm pretty good. Um, LSU puts out some talent, but you work in the SEC, or at least you did work in the SEC. Um, there's monsters everywhere you go, but what separates you from the rest of your predecessors, including Jamar Chase and Justin Jones. Oh man, what separated me from everybody is just you know that versatility on the field, uh, that versatility to be able to do you know play inside and out and be able to produce you know the same amount of numbers uh, and score the same amount of touchdowns. Uh, I mean, you're just gonna be getting a great teammate overall. Uh, you're gonna be getting a hard a hard worker, uh, if not the hardest in the room, one of the hardest workers in the in the receiver room. Uh, I mean, you're just going to get that dog, somebody who take advantage of the opportunities that he's given and don't take it for granted. Uh, man, just overall, you know, a great person, a great, great, uh, great leadership. I'm going to make everybody around me better. Hey, Terrence, uh, Brooks Cadena from The Advocate. Um, you know, good to see you again. Um, so could you take us through where you were training kind of after you opted out toward the end of the season, coming in, um, you know what you've been doing behind the scenes to produce some of the numbers you put up today. Uh, I started off in Miami at House of Athletes, and then I moved uh, to uh, MJP in McKinney, Texas, in Dallas. Uh, my plan was to just do one half in Miami and do one half in Dallas. Terrence, this is uh, Josh Sibley with Louisiana Gridiron Football. Um, you, you said in the past your your job is to kill whoever the other team puts in front of you. Um, where would you like to see uh, you uh, um, you being played on the inside or or the outside? And uh, where do you see yourself actually being played uh, in in the future um, on the inside at the slot position or outside at at the wideout? Um, I just me I feel I feel me personally, you know, whatever team I go to that they're gonna, you know, use me to my advantage. You know, uh I mean like I say I'm versatile, so I'm comfortable inside and out. I mean, it don't even, it don't really matter to me. Uh, the ball come my way, the ball's still gonna be coming the same way, so I gotta make the play. Uh so I mean it's just whatever the team wanna do. You know, they can use me wherever they they get and they're gonna get the same player, you know, inside and outside. Terrace, you know, you're a guy that has a lot of, I guess, dog in him, as people would say, physicality. Is that something that you really pride your game on, especially in the slot and over the middle? And, you know, um, what have you done to really, I guess, embrace that type of physicality? I uh, mean, it's, it's football. It's a physical sport. So, obviously, everybody got some dog in them somewhere, you know, on the field. Uh, you're going to get hit. You're going to hit people. So, I mean, my main thing, you know, being on the field is just, you know, being able to produce, uh, being able to, you know, give what, what the offensive coordinator, what the offense is asking for, just being able to, you know, go out there and to contribute to the team the best way I can. Hey, Terrence, 